Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some more GTNH. So we are back, and uh, I have something here I was going to pick up, uh, some tin cables. So I decided that uh, we're going to work on making that polyethylene today, but uh, instead of setting up a whole four basic steam turbines uh, or uh, fuel versions, it doesn't matter. I set up, uh, and I, I kind of forgot that I, I set up the one, which is fine. I set up advanced combustion generator and then a transformer to four... Uh, four amps lv uh this way we don't have to waste as many blocks basically a little less loss you know blah 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 basically so i thought that would work um i've made some uh basic chemical reactors and basic distilleries ahead of time just because they're going to be part of the episode and we're gonna have to rip up the ground a bit here just to access stuff around this i guess but also, let's get our magnet out, please. There we go. But also to make it easier for us to work on here. And then I guess eventually here, yeah, okay. So we'll figure out what we're gonna do here. So um, I am working on these, by the way. So I decided let's go ahead and make this. I'm gonna do the full size for fun and uh, just change the steam to the 10K to the 20K version. But uh, they're in the assembler right now. Really cheap to do the assembler. Basically, two steel plates for the solid ones. And for the gauge, it's just uh, glass pane and steel plate. So you, if, if you really want to save the most, you just go ahead and use uh, the, the glass ones only. Uh, but I prefer to just have the tops and bottoms at least solid. So uh, that's how I decided. So um, let's go ahead and see what we have here. So if we go over to MV tier here. Looks like we've gotten a couple quests done over time. Probably accidental. I'm guessing this one might be the transformer. The question is, where is it? It's probably one of the tiniest quests on here and you're probably never gonna find it. Do, do, do. Oh, here it is. And then MV here, I think this was related to bio something. Oh yeah, biofuels. I just had those three in my inventory. That's all good. Okay, there we have it. Okay, so, um, yeah, so let's see what I'm gonna do here. Let's go ahead and let's start with this guy down here. So we've gotten oxygen before. I'm gonna have to produce more oxygen for this setup, I believe, but uh, I'm gonna start with the ethylene first. Ethylene's actually quite easy. Um, it, it seemed hard at first, but then I you know, found a pattern. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my light fuel and I'm going to add steam to it, like legitimate steel, steam, not steel. And uh, we're going to create lightly steam crack light fuel. Then you're basically going to take that into a distillery and it's just going to convert it into ethylene. Uh, you get very little ratio at this point, but uh, it gives us what we want. And then molten po uh, polyethylene. Uh, is literally from oxygen cells with the ethylene. It gives you the molten polyethylene. So it's a pretty simple one, two, three step, honestly. So it's it's kind of nice. So the first one is the chemical uh, reactor. So I think that's how it is. Chemical reactor, distillery, and then chemical reactor again. So let's start with the chemical reactor here. Now these take a lot of power too. I mean, go figure. Everything takes a lot of power. Um, and then, so this will be our first one here. Uh, so we need to get steam over here. So it's up to you how you're, you're going to do this. I mean, we have obviously steam that comes over here cause it comes back here somewhere. So I was thinking what I'll do is have a thing over here for that. There it is. So I have to decide where I want to do that. I was thinking maybe up top here. And running a pipe. I wouldn't need a lot, right? I'm guessing. So I need something simple. So let me go get some pipes and stuff, and then we'll come up with some idea. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put this up here, I think. I think it would just be fun. Oh, this guy has a thing on him. I need to get myself a crowbar. And I think about it, I think they all have that on there. <laughs> This is one of the ones I was using before. Anyways, okay, so this will come in here. I'm going to bring the steam to this. I thought this would be probably the better way of doing it, I think. I'm sure I'll find out very fast that I'm wrong, but... I'm going to bring it down one more just in case if it gets in the way of something here. That should work. Thank you. 
Okay. Yeah, I was originally thinking I'll do a different a different way, but you know. Probably. Okay, so let's bring up the steam back here. There we go. I gotta make sure we don't get burnt to death here on the steam. Ow. I thought I could go there without getting hit, but apparently not. Okay. Let's go ahead and, yeah, we'll bring these together. We'll use the wrench here. Join these guys, perfect. And then I'll just fix up the pattern after. So this should start getting steam. Oh yeah, perfect, okay. Um, and then I guess we can start doing, so the first one has steam in it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this has to be a number one, by the way. And then, there you go. So we can throw this guy in here. And basically it should circle back and forth. I think actually you can do exactly that. Um, so you can have an output. Let's do the output over here. This, I don't think, can have an output, right? So you have to do it through this. Let's use the conveyor here. Like if I we put a conveyor over here, and then you put another conveyor on this other side, as far as I know, it will literally go back and forth, which sounds kind of dirty. You might have to enable that, though. So, uh, it's going to export and allow enable input. Yeah, that's probably what you do. Now, didn't I put the cells in there? Where the hell do those cells go, by the way? Uh, I don't see them in there or in here, so that's not good. That's a fluid pipe. Oh, they're in there. What the? Oh, they're stuck in here somewhere. Okay. And then on this one, I guess we do the same, right? We allow import. Yeah, there you go. So then when it does the mixture, it should work back and forth like that. That's my understanding how that would work. So it's kind of a loop, but it should be pretty good. So now we have to do the same thing here again. Uh, we have to tap into our light fuel, which crazy enough, our light fuel is right here. So let me get the same bronze piping. So I just at least keeping it the same. So that's small bronze fluid pipe. Okay, here we go. So let's attach this. We gotta be careful here not to burn ourselves. There we go. And then there we go. And that should start working right away, I think. At least if we did it right. Light fuel. Light fuel. Steam cell. Steam cell. As far as I know, we've done everything right except no, I think we've done everything right. Chemical reactor. It is the Greg Tech steam cell. 10617. 10617, yeah. Light fuel. Light fuel. Oh, you know what? I was going to say it might not have power, but it should have power. Oh, yeah. No, it doesn't have power. <laughs> I haven't actually powered this up yet, so we need to divert some of this fuel over here. We just, you know, brought and power this up. Silly me. There you go. At least now we know it's uh, at the end of times here. Not yet. There we go. I was so confused there. There we go. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Now you're going to need these for the quest, by the way. So, um, well, I don't know if this one needs to be for it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Any quests for this? Probably not then. We're not light fluid, but lightly steam cracked. I just wanted to find a quest to see if I could find it. I'm guessing not. 
And if so, we'll, we'll grab it eventually. These will buffer up, right? So I just didn't want to go too far on them. Okay, so that's, yeah, that is definitely working. Awesome. And it's going back in here, and then, yeah, it's going back, so. Let's watch that happen here. Yeah, there you go. Took it back in. Perfect, okay. So it is working great. So the next one is ethylene itself. Ethylene one is actually pretty simple because all you need to do is do the carbon dust and lightly steam cracked here, so. Um, that one makes it easy just because, you know, it's a, a done deal. Now, let's put that beside here. And that's in, obviously, the uh, chemical, or sorry, distillery. This distillery. So we'll just shove that right beside this one here. And you're going to have to set the right mode. If you don't set the right mode, by the way, you're going to have some problems. So make sure you do that probably before you turn on the thing. Because there's, like, multiple things you can convert it to. So if we don't do that right, then you're going to be hurt. Now you might, I don't know for sure. I might try and leave it for now. There's a chance that this will get voided unless you want to keep it. I mean, I think I would want to keep it. So I'll probably put a thing on top anyways. But if you didn't want to keep the carbon uh, dust, I think it might automatically get void at 64. But I can't promise you that, obviously. So here's the ethylene. We know there's a quest for ethylene for sure. So work on that. And then, plus I could grab whatever in here too, just for fun. Here's the lightly steam cracked. So if it has a quest for it, we'll, we'll eventually get it right here. I'm guessing there isn't one for this though, because it probably would have happened already. So let's put that back. Oh, you can only put so much back. Can I put this in the output or is it going to pick it up? I think it doesn't let you do that, unfortunately, no. You'd have to stop putting this in and let this drain a bit. Yeah. I just thought I'd grab it just in case. So, you know. So we have to get the ethylene. We need 4,000 for the ethylene. So I'll let that build up. And then uh, we'll grab that. And then uh, we'll continue on stage two or three or whatever. Just showing you my B update. So I'm using uh, Unweary and Diligent and putting them together. And trying to get the industrious and we got one going there already um, so I'm just putting these in here and then I try to find any that might be worth trying to to convert over they're a bit up and down right now unfortunately so I probably leave this guy here for now because I have just the one and if this guy kind of moves around I can do that I actually it's probably gonna go like this I move them over here so I know it's on that side so that way, if he doesn't give me another drone of the Industrious, I know to, like, put one there because well, he's tempting anyways, right? So, um, but yeah, basically, this is this is how you do B stuff uh, without any scanners or anything and just going through the list. Um, but uh, yeah, it works. That's the thing. It, it actually works. It's just it takes time, effort. But it's one of those little slow, casual things. I'm running out of uh, Noble, so... Uh, these are just recently been uh, banged together. So these are all the excessive drones that I got here that just, you know, for it, trying to bang these together. So these were just four drones or something like that. And so I'm trying to make them into the um, noble for the, the next round of things. So, yeah, that's basically bees. Just that's all I do. I just want to keep you guys updated over time how I'm doing them. Obviously, you're not going to get a dedicated... Well, you might get a dedicated video later on. Maybe just all about bees, how I did it, scanners, things like that. But it's more of a, just a progression over time for those who are interested in a casual uh, capacity. Those who are in it more hardcore probably watch dedicated bee videos, obviously. just wanted to show you an update on our uh, steam grinder here. It's all shut down, so I guess it's emptied it yet. So this is working great. I put in uh, a high-pressured forge hammer because I realized a lot of things would go into nuggets if you don't. Um, but I've reviewed everything since then. And as long as I have the hammer there or the washer, um, it will make it so they're all ingot based. Uh, so yeah, that's been good. So this is everything I got. And I did that within like two, three hours at most. Probably not even that. I mean, I, I ran it a couple hours ago. That's the whole thing is just I haven't paid attention. But it's done really, really, really well to be fair. So I'm really happy about that. I actually did a bunch of mining for gold and stuff like that. I guess I put the gold in there. But uh, yeah, here, here's a good example. So let's take this stuff here. 
Um, oops, let's put that back. So if we look at this one, if you macerate it, you get obviously your materials here. If you furnace it, you get one. Okay, that's a good one. Um, but some of them like, okay, let's take a look at lead. If you macerate it and then you furnace it, you get an ingot. But instead, if you go ahead and you hammer it, and then you may uh, smelt this, then you'll get lead directly. So that's kind of what I went with that. Um, do I have more of the? Oh, wow. We got a bunch of it. Still too many, huh? Let's go like this and do it this way. So I have it in one bag. Uh, so I want to make sure I grabbed all of it. Oh, we might have just grabbed all of it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, okay. I like to leave one usually, you know, for for the sake of spotting it later on. Now, this one I will keep because even if you can, you know, put this into the, the thing and blah, blah, blah. This one was the one that gives me... Yeah, okay. It doesn't even turn it into iron, so... AE's Moon or Mars. Oh, I don't know. We go like this. There you go. And then we're good. And that's as easy as that. So it's been working really well. Okay. To confirm, it does get stuck. So, hey, at least we know that. We didn't even get the uh, the four things of uh, ethylene, just 3.2. So we got to uh, fix the this part. So we're going to do this on top. And then we're going... Jerk. I was going to say, and we'll put this on top. And there you go. So that way, for now on, it'll pull that out and put it in here. And I can upgrade that if I need to, or I'll just take it out from time to time and craft it in from uh, a 9x9. Nine nine. But, uh, yeah, that should work anyway. So, uh, yeah, we're almost there. And then we can continue on. I made electrolyzer because we're going to do... Uh, we're going to need to do water this way. So I need to bring water over here as well. I guess this is water here, to be fair. So and this is like a very long time to make, I think. Yeah, so I don't need to worry about anything more than that pipe. That was naughty. I didn't light up this area. I haven't had mobs under here yet, but uh, it could have been bad. I also have to fix this. So I'm just checking out my Steam setup. So it's good. Uh, the water issue, we were worried about that, right? Uh, it never became a problem. So that's the good news there. Um, so we're, we're good there. I think that's how this goes down, right? Yeah. And then we just continue on here. I've just been running around under the base. It's kind of fun. I be, I open up more of it over time, make sure it's lit up, but it's, it's handy to come down here and work. To rip up the wall after to do further up there and if you want you don't uh, you can go around or something well, i guess there's probably not much of a round owl hole you might want to expand this just a bit more just because we're kind of big there you go and we can grab this one there there you go Whee! but yeah just fixing around here for fun and ow. okay so we should have yep there you go we got the four so there we go that finishes that quest cool and i think we'll leave that for now so we just don't get more junk and so we need to mix ethylene and oxygen all into this now so um we're gonna go ahead and put you down here and we're gonna have you go this direction obviously into here and then we're gonna just yeah let's put this in well there's not a lot so you should be fine but um here's your ethylene and let's open this up for fluid output there you go so this should bring up your rest your ethylene awesome and so now you have to bring oxygen this is the number one you know i forgot to put this oh maybe i didn't forget so let's say it'd be yeah i know we talked about doing that originally um so to make this you don't need to oh it needs to be one okay there you go and then we need to do oxygen so it's kind of up to you how you want to do this i personally have decided to go with this one it will take a while obviously but I think this one's kind of like a simple one, two, three kind of method. I think I'm going to space it, though, um, just to make my life a little easier uh, when I'm doing this. So, And then I guess we don't need this wire or this wire here. We can close this end. And there you go. So this is our little setup for this. So, um, yes, yeah, so we need to get water over here now. Let's do that. So 
I guess we'll... Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving room for... I, I mean, I could always move it too, right? But I just feel like I'd rather have the room beside it. That way I'm not fighting with uh, the end pieces here. Because you're going to have to have the cells go back and forth, right? I wonder... I wonder, actually. How do you do that, I guess, is the question. Can I tell them to go back and forth? Would they have a fight with it? You know what I mean? Kind of curious now. I think I'll leave it that way and just, you know. And later on, I should consider using the uh, redstone alloy or whatever it was called. It was something else uh, for the... Uh, so I'm not wasting it, but it's not a huge deal. It's just we are wasting, obviously. Oh, I got to do this to the water pipe. Set it properly up eventually here. Okay, so we're going to go from here, 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 here. There you go. Um, perfect. Okay, we're going to go from there. Set this ahead of time. And probably set this part, even if you're being lazy, because... You might not be able to fit all this later on, you know, because everything else will be in the way, though you could always go to the sides and stuff. There you go. Okay. This is getting the water. Perfect. And then we got to set this to number one, apparently. So that's easy. And since this is really slow, you can set it to whatever. I'm going to do 32 because if it buffers later on or if I need it for something else, it's there, I guess. Um, and then... Is that it? As far as I know, it should be it. I feel like this should be working. Please be LV. Empty cell, oxygen, water. Am I doing something wrong, my friends? Oh, I haven't even set it to one. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I guess because when I think one, I think, oh, you don't need a circuit or something for some stupid reason in my brain. So sometimes I think that goes whoosh right over my head and I'm like, oh, okay, we're, we're set, you know? Okay, so I need to make more conveyors because I'm pretty sure we're out and then uh, we'll hook up the conveyors back and forth here. Unfortunately, we're starting to have some production issues. It probably will get better much later on, but we're probably just not keeping up, so... Oh man, I don't even know how we do this at this point. So we have this. Where the hell does this go? Does it go this? No. It's funny when you don't know where this goes just because you've just been so used to it. So you got oil that creates... I guess that's the... Uh, whatever you call it. This here. Sulfuric. Okay. So it seems like your sulfuric doesn't keep up in the production. So a second distillery would actually make sense. Lift this up. And then just put a second basic distillery in there. Maybe I can do that at the end of the episode or something. I'll just cut, maybe do some cuts in it. But it's obviously becoming uh, an issue, obviously. So we want to fix it. So, um, But yeah. Okay, let's see how we're going to do this. So we're going to do, I guess, a pipe here. We're up there, here. There, here again. And then we'll do the same thing we did before. And then we'll shift click here. We'll allow input. Shift click here. Allow input. You have to have nothing in your hands. Um, and then yeah, there you go. Okay, so this is going good. So we have the oxygen going here. Now, how do we make the molten? So you got that. Is it set to one yet? You got an oxygen and you got ethylene. I feel like I have everything set then, no? Ethylene, oxygen cell, oxygen cell, ethylene. Eh? I feel like I've done a good job. Oh, I guess I didn't put this in right. That's my fault then, I guess. 
Okay, so let's fix that. This will... I don't know where I'm going to put my ethylene output eventually, I guess. Maybe underneath, it doesn't really matter. Uh, no, this is ethylene. Oh, sorry, you know, no, no, the polyethylene, yeah, I, I guess we'll uh, wire it out of there. Again, this is my fault, I haven't attached the power to it for some reason, but there you go. Now, I don't know if this is going to be enough to power all this, to be fair. Unfortunately, I thought, eh, this won't be bad, but, uh... It makes it so fast, it might not have a problem, because it'll probably just shut down and not run half the time, so... But I think that should work. There you go, molten polyethylene. Problem is, of course, now it's that, so. And a lot of it's catching up, too, to get to, you know, certain stuff. So if I'm not really using it in the base, I think that's the good news. Is it won't be a big deal here, but obviously we're going to want to work on that. Okay, so I think what I should do is make an extra distillery, honestly. Yeah. I think, or I have one of these ones. I used this for lubricant at one point, so. But another distillery, and then just have this, you know, pipe into those. Yeah, okay, I'll work on that. And uh, I'll let this sit for a bit, too. And then come back. Okay, so let's figure out what we're going to do here. We might have power issues. I'm going to try this. Hope we don't have power issues. If we have power issues, obviously we're going to have to fix some stuff here. I took down the stuff that was here, and uh, I just took the story. I thought, why not? We can make those again anyways. They were a temporary setup. They were not ever meant to be a, a permanent installation. Um, anyway, so here is that. I mean, that's as simple as that gets. Um, so, uh, oops. We're going to take you. And we're going to start taking you guys out of here, temporarily at least. And then we got to figure out the right uh, way here. So this says input. No, we need to have it output down here, right? So is this output? I get, yeah, it says output. And then I guess this is what we do. We go like this, like this, and there's oil in there. Perfect. And then that fixes that. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. So we're going to put this to number two. There we go. And we're going to have it running to the right. These do nothing but that, right? Oh my goodness. Imagine getting trapped there. It's like, you die. Okay, so that's good. And then, so that's there. You fluid auto output. And then basically, we're just going to go like this. And this is as easy as pie. Boom. And there we go. Now we've doubled our... Uh, sulfuric light fuel production basically looks like everything else is keeping up at this point so now this might cause some power issues because you might be able to run four machines but five machines if they all run simultaneously might have some issues you could probably get away with it if you start putting lithium batteries in some of them over time um, to to buffer it I should make some more of those eventually anyways but uh, just if they all run at the exact same time here and there uh, they will not shut down and act up or whatever but even if they act up they should self balance themselves a wee bit if you know what I mean so um, because they can't run till that gets full right so it takes a little while for this to fill up so you could probably get away with even more of this but I think right now it's more because of the setup um, I think it'll it'll slow down over time once we fill up because um, there's only so much you can do with this right this can't even keep up right so once that starts doing that I think it'll be good but uh, yeah it's a little expensive this setup basically because like you saw this this one setup like literally um, it's not that one it's like taking a thousand of this and making 50 of this this is literally an insane amount of cut to our light fuel production and this is why we're kind of suffering so i really should consider it a third one of those but then i'm gonna have to come up with a better power thing we're gonna have to go like 8x cables or some crazy shit like that i don't want to do that right now um i probably should be running this on its own fuel anyway so like it circulate light fuel through it but i feel like that's another day where we come in here and do that i can use this space and just you know put the generators and just do two mvs uh, just like what we have here and then do the LV and then um, conversion and then do 4x cables um, maybe lossless cables as well when we're at it so um, if, if it becomes a problem we'll do that 
I'll see how buffering this goes over time. Uh, so how many of these do we need for the mall? <laughs> it wants 41 polyethylene cells. That is some next level expensiveness. How much do you require for the polyethylene, by the way? It's only 144 of the ethylene, but and you get 216, but it's still expensive. This is the best recipe right now. If you use, um, if you don't use this oxygen, uh, use, I think, air cell or something, or maybe it's just nothing almost, pretty much. Um, you get a lot less, so at least we're getting a bit more for it, but, oh, wow, it's expensive, so. But I'm hoping doubling this up will help fix this up a bit anyway, so. And like I say, eventually these will start buffering. I mean, the ethylene's building up, right? So I think that's a good indicator there, so. I kind of like just really want to make another one of these. You know what? I might. Let me see. I might go ahead and just do a whole different setup over here just to add two more distilleries possibly in here. Give me some time to think about it. Okay, so I have made a mistake on the recipe here. It's not really a mistake, but the efficiency is bad. So if we look at our ethylene, we're converting lightly steamed cracked light fuel, 1,000, into 50 ethylene. Literally, there's another one where we can take severely steam cracked light fuel and turn it to 250. So requires 1,000 to 250 versus 1,000 to uh, 50. Five times the amount of ethylene you get out of there. Um, so like, it doesn't seem bad at all. Now, if we look at lightly one here, 1000 light fuel, seam cell, there you go. If we click this one here, I don't know why it's not going to the right one. It is, oh, I probably have never set it yet. So that's probably why. Uh, so this is a severely cracked version, right? Yeah. Actually, no, I don't want that one. I want the next page here. So as far as I know, if we get rid of this, we click this, they're identical. Yeah, they're identical, except instead of 8 seconds, it takes 16 seconds. But you would then get 5 times ethylene. <laughs> so it, there's a no-brainer there. For the molten polyethylene, as far as I know at this time, this is the best you're going to get, though. So that's not going to change unless, you know, uh, we'll use air and stuff. But that's just larger size recipes. But that that's not going to change from what I can tell. Um, we get the best from using oxygen cells. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll try this. So number three, we're going to try here. Um, so this will be number three. My sound on? Yeah, okay. The game gets quiet sometimes. So here's number three. And I guess that's it. And then I'll turn this on again. So is this full again? There's nothing even in there right now. That's not good. Why is this... Something broke in the system, didn't it? Shoot. Sulfuric light fuel, but our fuel completely died. Oh, these filled up finally. Aha, that's fine. So our oxygen and stuff like that, which just works out for us because we can grab that oxygen and stuff out of there anyways. But um, yeah, let's, let's empty these out here, shall we? Yeah. Okay. That was bound to happen, so... I, I need to put a void thing on these or something else. So let's grab this one and this one. And this will go again. That was my mistake. Oh, that has ox. Oh, no, never mind. There you go. So whoopsies. All good, though. Like I said, my mistake. So anyways, if we enable this, this should be better, I guess. Now we're going to have to set this one, obviously, too, I guess. So if that's changed to that, we need to set this to... It's still 10. So, as far as I know, it's just going to be the same of everything still. Now, you only get the 800. You'll have to wait for the next one. But, yeah, it, it sh uh, from what I can tell, everything is about the same. Except, you'll know, you'll get uh, five times that lane here. So, we're going to make sure this is, the, you know, 13.2. We're going to just make sure this is, you know, obviously the case. It is ethylene. I didn't, like, misread it, and it's ethyl, you know, something, you know, something silly. 
13.5. Yeah, no, that's good. Okay, so there's my molten polyethylene. Uh, so this is clogged up on that now, the hydrogen. So it's up to you what you want to do with the hydrogen. You can choose to avoid it or collect it. I don't see a way for me to collecting that much over time. I guess I'll collect it right now, but more than likely I'll probably just void it, honestly. Um, but here we go. And now our issue at this point would be oxygen cells. So what we can do about that is we can just go and grab a bunch of cells and dump, you know, just kind of help it out here. So we, we get oxygen in many ways. I think over time as a passive thing, it's not bad, but early right now, it kind of, I think it hurts a bit more if you, you know what I mean? So there we go. I'm going to grab you. There we go. And then there you go. You get a lot of cans back, so I might as well steal those cans. So if you don't keep this emptied, obviously, you know, that's our choke points right now. There is a void thing. It's expensive, if I recall. I think there was even... I feel like there was a quest for it somewhere, but it's probably easier trying to find it. Uh, I mean, probably the word void would probably just help you find it anyways. Uh, so Greg Tech machines are here, so it would probably be not there, because that's the machines themselves. Oh, here you go. Yeah, there you go. It's just one of these guys. It is a full circuit you lose, unfortunately. Oh, no, it's a vacuum tube. Oh, okay, that's not bad. So you have to lose... You can lose a bit of things for it, unfortunately, but you can set, you know, a limit on it. Stall an inefficient power. Well, that makes sense. You got so much r running right now, so... That's fine. It works itself out eventually, but... We knew the the stalling would be a thing that would happen. No, I'm thinking this is working pretty good, though. Unfortunately, I was away doing other things for a while, and uh, it didn't work out properly. Like, um, uh, you know, because this stalled and filled up, and then this thing stalled, and, you know... Because uh, it filled up, so I hadn't made the, the amount here. But this should help me get closer to that. I need 40 plus of it. 41 or something. So it's a little on the taxing side. But that's fine. This will help. I'm going to still work on those extra distillery I wanted. But uh, I think in the end, right now anyways, it's going to be probably more oxygen eating up. So I'll probably just get oxygen from other methods and then fill it up. But uh, it's not too terrible here. So I'll let this you know get up to the 41 and then we'll come back. Oh, I'm wrong. I got 64 multi polyethylene uh, out of that. It was, I guess it's not a full stack. I guess it's based on, oh, it's 144. Oh my goodness. So I thought you need a lot more. It wasn't so bad. Okay, that's cool. Well, there you go. I got molten polyethylene. Uh, molten polyethylene. Uh, let's put one of these down. And then I can put it in there. There you go. That burns. There you go. So that's cool. I did not realize that. So that's uh, 9k. So we got the quest done. Sweet. So we can get whatever you want here. I'm going to go for those. And then we're going to go for um, more cells. So I thought this was going to be a lot worse, but obviously it wasn't so bad. So this is going to still cry at us, obviously, but it worked out better than I thought, to be honest. Way better. Cool. Um, Let's see what we have here. So I guess the next thing is to molten pull anything and be made from chemical grounds and the ethylene blah, 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 across cells. Okay, using uh, oxygen is 50 percent used. Okay, so... Flu fluid solidifier, obviously, we're going to use here. It's cheap. Can't go wrong there. Um, might as well, because you're going to probably use the sheets, I'm guessing, from time to time. So I'm thinking what I will do is make another fluid solidifier, and then I can set it beside it. So let me go make one. Okay, so I guess I better oh, be careful, because this is hot, right? 400. Oh yeah, 
we're good with all this stuff here. I just want to make sure we're not going to burn our little tiny hands here. There you go. And then you can do fluid auto output, I guess, should work, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we just need to get the thingy for this. I think it's upstairs because we use it for the other thing here. Which we can just borrow it from time to time, I'm sure. There you go. There you have it. Polyethylene sheets, awesome. Well, this is good news. We're getting it now, so I'm really happy about that. Okay, so we got our 64 here, though you're going to laugh. Um, if we go over here, um, I guess because of the where, where we're feeding water uh, and because we have it set forced here, uh, these three tanks are completely empty. Uh, and then it just, yeah, it screws up. Yeah, so the water tank issue, meh. What I might do is make more water tanks for fun or something or set these up a bit better, like have these fun. I don't know. I might just open it up, let them all use it kind of thing uh, for this little area anyways. Not my favorite style, but not being able to get water is actually our issue right now, right? So we did things too good, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is kind of the issue here. So if we were to remove some of these restrictions on the main one here, we can keep most of these here. Just take off the main one. Mm. Then more than likely that would fix up the water issues now. Let's do it like that. And then this would fix this water issue. Are you using water from any of these ones? No. So that should fix it. Now we can figure out how to get out of here. <laughs> just find a new hole to get out. And then we'll have to just find out where that hole was. I actually don't know where we uh, went through, to be fair. Oh, was that it? I guess so. And then this thing should probably be running and not slowing down now. Yeah, there you go. 12k, 13k water. So that was that was awesome. I, I can't believe I was screwing around with that accidentally. But uh, yeah, so our setup works, obviously. I'm happy with that. It works. There, there's some work that can be done, obviously. But... Um, I'm happy with that. I never did get around to making more of these, but in the end, it wasn't actually really needed, I don't think. Um, I, I still have to decide for some stuff. Uh, you know, uh, my oil, I think, might have just finally ended, actually. So I think we're going to go check it out quickly. I'll do that all off camera, moving around. But let's just have a quick ending at the oil. You know what it might be? I haven't gone there yet. I'm going to bring these with me just in case. It could be a battery issue. We haven't gone there for so long that i like i did the chunk thing today i was there for that i haven't checked the battery status i forgot we used a battery that whole time if the battery still has juice in there i would actually be amazed um but if it still has oil i would be somewhat amazed as well just because we've used a lot up so if you know it were to finally run out of uh, oil yeah no so there's two things that would surprise me if there's more oil but also if those batteries lasted so um, it wasn't a big spout anyway, so oh, I should bring one of these with me and then I'll just dump all this in here and just ignore it for now. Okay. So let me head there and we'll be back. Damn. It ran out of oil. Yeah. It retracted. Look at that. So way more than enough for that. So we take this out and it'll retract it pretty fast. There it goes. So we don't have, be careful. You'll die if you hit oil. So we have to be very, actually we should just hover and then do this manually. Because you will die if you're not careful. I can't even tell if that's oil or not. No. There's oil. But it's probably mostly gone. Um, Like, oh, there's a, a vein, uh, like a thing there, right? Where it wouldn't have sucked it up. Things like that. But more than likely, it's all gone. Yeah, see, they, they have issues getting these corners. I don't know if it's because the chunks aren't loaded at the time. Or if it's just... It's the way the system works, you know what I mean? But, yeah, you can see it going down now. Isn't that cool? Whee! Oh, yeah, it's going down. There might still be some other spots on here, but, uh, yeah, it's definitely going down now. 
Yeah, make sure you're in hover mode. <laughs> okay, here you go. So that's cool. I hear uh, there's a, I think a thing over here somewhere. Yeah, this is a dangerous spot here probably. But uh, yeah, so that's what it is. So these four spots, for some reason, you know, in the bowl, uh, don't uh, get drained for whatever reason. I don't know if that be a fix for railcraft that somebody could do, or the pumps themselves how they work. But either way, if you do it carefully in hover mode, you can easily go in there and fix it out yourself. Which I'll probably do that for now on for fun, just as a you know a champion thing. Now for respect for other people, and to be fair yourself, probably if you make a mistake. You should cap this off. Now, I would cap this off if you can. Um, I was going to say, probably go back down here for a second. I would cap this off with cobblestone. That way, you know, right? Um, it's different. But uh, I'll leave, leave the rig here, basically, like all this part, because I think that's fun. Uh, but now I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll even leave the blue here, basically, for fun. Um, if it becomes a leg issue or a known leg issue, I'll fix it, but it apparently runs on its own thread. It should never be an issue. So I, for fun, like to leave it here. Um, but I'll just go for another direction whether, while I continue from here to here, or if I go from, you know, way over here to there, you know, whatever, more likely I will literally go right straight ahead. But, uh, either way, that'll be my job. And, uh, that's it for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.